In today's video, I'll share with you 10 of my favorite mental health habits that have helped me in the past during some of the most difficult times in my life. Some of these habits might feel challenging at the beginning, but trust me, it will be worth it in the long run. Take a break and practice self-care. Even though we might be caught up in our busy lives with so many responsibilities, we cannot forget to take care of ourselves by slowing down every once in a while and doing the things that will nurture our body and soul. Take a couple of hours each day to connect with your inner self while practicing your favorite self-love routine. This way you can release any anxiety that you might be experiencing and will help you see whatever you are going through with different eyes after your self-care session. Don't make social media a habit. I can't stress enough the importance of taking breaks from social media regularly. I have talked about this in other videos and I had to add it to this list since it has helped my well-being and productivity tremendously. When we spend mindless moments on social, consuming other people's lives, it's also preventing us from focusing on ourselves and the things we have to take care of. We can be using it to procrastinate important things we have to do and we fall into the game of comparing our real lives to other people's highlighted and perfectly curated feed. Be very mindful about the way you consume it and set up a time limit for each app or delete them altogether for a while. Your peace of mind, creativity and productivity will be multiplied in no time. Practicing positive thinking and self-talk to promote self-worth. Are you familiar with that little voice in your head that sometimes tells you how you're not worthy of something or someone? The only way we can control those negative thoughts is by being aware of them and changing them on a subconscious level. The more you practice positive thinking, the better you will feel about yourself in any challenging situation. When you start practicing this habit, by either using positive affirmations or meditations, you might feel a bit skeptical at the beginning, but that's totally normal and a sign that you really need to do this. Over time, you will start embracing this new way of thinking and you will own your new reality. Feel free to check my meditation list linked here and down below to get you started today. Practice gratitude every morning or nighttime before going to bed. When we connect ourselves to a grateful heart, we instantly give out the universe an abundant energy that will only attract more things to be grateful for. Instead of focusing on the things we are missing or lacking, we can embrace the feeling that we have so much to be grateful for and keep vibrating with that positive energy in order to bring more peace into our minds. The best times to practice gratitude are first thing in the morning and before going to bed since these are usually the moments we have more time for ourselves without being easily distracted. There are many different ways you can practice gratitude. You can write down the things you're grateful for or by just closing your eyes and connecting to your heart while thinking about the things you are grateful for. Journal out your thoughts and emotions. Sometimes we might find it hard to open up to people, especially when we are going through tough times. That's why one easy step to follow that will bring you closer to that happy feeling is writing about what's been bothering you and opening up about the way you feel about it, even if it's just to your journal. This simple practice can help you release any negative emotion you might be feeling and will instantly make you feel so much lighter and even more positive about the issue. Expressing our emotions might not be easy for some of us, and that's totally fine. But we have to understand that by allowing ourselves to feel our emotions will give us more power and control around any situation we might be struggling with. We don't have to justify our feelings all the time, and that's totally fine. Our emotions are what makes us humans, and we have to embrace how special and unique they make us feel. Express yourself through a creative outlet. Take a moment to create a list of five activities you truly love doing or that you feel you're passionate about. When was the last time you took the time to make them happen? One week ago? 
a month, a year? Go ahead and find some time to incorporate any of these activities in your schedule. Make sure you are expressing yourself through these creative outlets and they are bringing more joy and flow to your life. It can be decorating cakes, dancing, playing your favorite instrument, painting, singing. If you think about it, these are ways we are expressing our true selves, our hearts and souls. And when we are disconnected from our creative genius, we might feel a void within ourselves that needs to be addressed. This practice can be as liberating and relaxing as a deep meditation session or a yoga class. Learn to say no and create healthy boundaries. If you are a given person, you might be struggling with this one regularly. You feel really bad to say no to a friend or a family member, so you go ahead and commit yourself to do something that probably won't be beneficial to you. It's good to be there for the ones we love and need us the most, but we have to be mindful about it. When we are people pleasers and are used to helping and taking care of everyone, most likely we are not taking the time to nurture ourselves and our needs. This can be impacting our mental health in a negative way since we are used to being the ones that listen to that problematic friend all the time instead of creating a healthy boundary that will probably be beneficial to you and those around you. Feed your body with nourishing foods. We truly are what we eat and our nutrition habits can impact the way we feel about ourselves. Let's be honest, how do you feel about eating all that junk food anyway? If we want to stay full of energy and sharp, we should try incorporating more whole foods into our new lifestyle. To boost your mental health, focus on eating plenty of fruits and vegetables. Dark green leafy vegetables in particular are brain protective while nuts and seeds are also excellent brain foods. Exercise or take a walk in nature. Just a simple 10 minute walk or sweat session during the day can help alter your mood and clear your mind for good. If you work in an office or from home, make sure you get off your desk and go for a walk during your break. This will help you get back to your routine with a refreshed mind and more energy. This can also help you improve mental alertness, memory, creativity, and problem solving. Ask for help when needed. When we keep all our problems to ourselves, we might feel that we are all alone and that no one is there for us to help us. When the truth is that most of the time we have people around us that love and care about us more than we know. Also, when we're thinking about our problems all day long without talking about them, they might feel so much heavier than they really are. Once we talk about them, we release that heaviness and whatever is bothering us, finding out about our blind spots and probably new refreshing ways to deal with them. Talk to someone you know that loves you unconditionally or a professional and you won't regret it. Let me know in the comments below which one of these tips you will be trying next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.